Hi guys, so I have about three seconds to make a video, so here we go. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, sleep. How do you know if you're getting enough sleep? Well, the thing is, for me personally, um, I always wake up tired. I'm sure you guys always wake up tired too. So it's kind of hard to know whether or not a supplement is making you more or less tired. Um, so the way I do it is I usually take a look at my eyes in the morning and if it looks like I got punched in the face that usually means some some supplement kept me up or sorry, I always have toothpaste um, or like I ate something like some, if I eat chocolate or something like that um, so just so you know try to notice certain things in your body that change when you haven't slept and this will help you figure out whether or not something is ruining your sleep. So for me, turmeric was doing that, and that sounds crazy because I heard all these great things about turmeric, and they're all true because it it did help. I was breathing better. My voice got better. Um, but it was keeping me up, and everyone tells me, oh, I won't do that, blah, 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 blah. Just listen to your body because turmeric kept me up. I don't know why. Um, so for the first day, I'm good, and then – after that, I seem to go downhill. <clears throat> so this is not a video about sleep, but it's important to get rested. And the rest of this video will be a little bit more about hypermobility type chronic fatigue. So I purchased this book by a doctor. She has YouTube videos called Pretty Ill something. Anyway, if you just look Pretty Ill, um, she should pop up. She's a doctor with Ellers Danlos. And she has joint hypermobility like me. So for lymph node draining, I have read a few awesome blogs about it, like Empowered Sustenance. She has a blog, and it's pretty awesome. Um, she tells you, you know, you go, go in a sauna, which I've done, and that works for me. Uh, she also, for lymph node draining, she uses a trampoline, and she jumps on the trampoline. So for those of us with extreme chronic fatigue, heart rate issues, anything like that, that's not going to fly. There's no way we're going to jump on a trampoline. Um, for me, I can't do it because I have bad joints, so that's that doesn't work for me. So Pretty Ill, um, she has a different way of draining lymph nodes, and this is one of them. This is a neck brace. What I do is I wear this like this at night. And um, it's supposed to keep your neck straight so that your lymph nodes can drain correctly. And not just that, but your cerebral spinal fluid can flow more evenly. And especially for me, because I'm hypermobile, um, I tend to sleep like this and wake up not, not necessarily with neck pain, but chest pain. Like I have chronic chest pain. So this has actually been helping my chest pain, which is so weird, but it's really important if you're hypermobile or your connective tissue is basically mush to keep everything as not, maybe straight's not the right word, but as, um, as close to a normal human being shape as possible. So this has really been helping drain or just keep me stabilized while I sleep. And another thing I've been doing, which um, she didn't she didn't mention this, but I sleep on my side, so it's even worse because my neck's like this, and my my legs come together like that. So what I've found it's been doing is this is part of my hip propping popping problem. Um, so I've been sleeping with a pillow between my knees like this. And make sure it's wide enough. And this is how I sleep now. Sideways like this. Neck brace. <laughs> and a pillow between my legs. And um, I have had less hip popping since I started doing that. Which is like awesome. That's so awesome. And I guess what it was doing was subluxating my hips. Because they would move out of place like that. And like fold in on each other so this just keeps them straight throughout the night uh, I still get it from sitting but I'll figure that out at some point okay so another thing that pretty ill recommends for hypermobility chronic fatigue 
to drain the lymph nodes and also to repair muscles, which I think would be absolutely great for chronic fatiguers, is a whole body vibration machine. And for those of you pervs out there, that's not what it sounds like. Anyway, this is a machine called Confidence something or other. Uh, this is what it looks like. Confidence. It says it. It says it changes. It's like helps with uh body fat and all that other bullshit that none of you care about. I'm sure. Um, but what it's been doing for me is, it um because because I have loose connective tissue, they kind of like it kind of like folds over on itself. So there's parts of my there's parts of my connective tissue that I can't even get to. Like I can't even feel it. When I went to Rolf R O L F. Um, he was like moving it around and I was like, oh, that feels good, you know, because it's parts of your connective tissue that just never gets released. Like it never gets blood flow to it. So <clears throat> what the whole body vibration machine does is vibrates those muscles. So they're like, boo, 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 boo. and it feels like a massage for me. And it, it's supposed to repair muscle. I don't know if it's repairing muscle, but it's definitely helping my back pain. So I stand on it and I make sure I I make sure I'm vibrating like the certain area of my back that hurts. So if you have muscle atrophy, this is like amazing. This is amazing. <clears throat> For me personally, I I get really itchy. <laughs> I don't know why, but I get really itchy on it. Um hopefully you won't get that, but I guess that's a good sign because I used to get really itchy just from walking. Like my legs would get really itchy from walking. So um I I think it's doing something good, but it definitely helps back pain. Um, what else did I have? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So I wanted to emphasize this again, magnesium phosphate. Phosphorus is needed for ATP function. So I really, I'm, I've been back on this. I don't know if you can tell, but I look better than I usually look. Um, this has really been helping me. I take like four a day. They're re it's really good for cramps. I can't, uh, I can't speak for fibromyalgia because I don't really have that. I only have like popping pain. Um, but this helps relax my muscles and uh, I can think clearer and definitely energy. This is like hands down energy for this. Take four day and you'll start feeling a difference within three days. And I've been tested for phosphorus and I was within the range and I've been tested for magnesium and I occasionally dip down, but I'm still within the range now. But it, I don't think if they test it in your blood. It doesn't, it doesn't really tell you what's going on with your muscles. So um, if you have a lot of red blood cell damage like I do, it, it's really hard to tell what the hell's going on because whatever's floating around your blood doesn't mean it's getting in at any cells or anything like that. And especially if you have um, issues with your fatty acids, which I do, um, and you're low in fatty acids, you're, just because it's in your blood doesn't mean that it's, it's entering all of your cells because your phospholipid membrane is probably damaged or not repaired repairing correctly. That was, this is a lot longer than I allocated before work. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, make sure you're getting enough sleep and that includes supplements. So don't listen to doctors or friends or the internet when they tell you that there's no way in hell that tumor could keep you up at night or something like that. Just listen to your body and know your own signs that you're not getting it efficient sleep for me that was it's my eyes usually I wake up and it's, they're just so puffy so whatever your symptom is um some of you guys if you cough stuff up or you notice that you crash earlier or something like that just listen to your own body um I also wanted to tell you I had a pill party with one of my CFSR friends and um we traded pills and I tried his pills out and he tried my pills out so I'm probably going to do a review of that because his pills seem to help with energy and my pills helped him with brain stuff so um, I've been trying to get him to do a video so hopefully that will be soon <laughs>